All right, today we're here with Heather. Um, we're going to work on your serve today, right? Right. Um, now I know I've watched you play around the club, so I kind of have in my mind what I'd like to see you doing better on your serve, but is there anything specifically you want to say about it that you'd like to do better on your serve? Uh, I'd like to get a little more pace on it. Pace, and good. And I'd like to be able to place it. Pace and place, okay, yeah, all right. Yeah. And I think my toss is sometimes causing issues. Toss, okay, all right. Well, I certainly think, uh, you know, you get your serve in now, and I think, I think, you know, a, a few things come to mind with your serve in particular. I know you're a very competitive person, and you like to get the serve in, and you really dislike missing. <laughs> and no, it's true, and it's actually a really good thing because there's so many unforced errors in tennis that the people that just understand getting the ball in really succeed. Uh -huh. But when it comes to jumping to that next level in tennis, getting from 3-0 to 3-5 or 3-5 to 4-0, uh -huh. you want to have more than getting the serve in. You want right. to be able to get it in, maybe not giving you the advantage, but at least not giving you the disadvantage. Right. So when you right. play higher level players, you'll notice they kind of just tee off on it and you don't yeah. want them to be able to do that. Yes. So yes. Um, now in order to do that, I think one thing personality wise is you're going to have to be ready to miss a little bit. Okay, because you're going to be going bigger. Anytime you try to do something faster and harder, you have a tendency to make more errors. Right. But there's this portion, there's this timing of, there's this time of training where it's called reaching in athletic terms, where you just try to go a little bit outside of yourself and you're okay with making a couple extra errors. And then you just got to begin with the end in mind. We know we want you hitting the serve that hard. Uh -huh. So just start hitting it that hard and then we'll figure out how to get it to go in later, okay? okay. okay. All right, so we're going to film your serve. Um, you know, with what you need to work on as far as generating more racket head speed, slow motion doesn't really help. Um, that'll help you learning your pronation, which I think you need to do a little better. Yes. But I actually want to just show you your serve regular speed a couple times. So there you can more easily see your pause that, oh, that you have when you hit. Um, but I shouldn't have even said that because we haven't filmed it yet and I don't want to give you any clues. So yeah, yeah. just serve your normal serve okay. and, and trust that we're going to make it harder and better, okay? Okay. All right. All right, Heather, like I said, it's, it's going to be best to check you out in regular speed here so you can just see the racket not really accelerating through the backdrop period, um, the hairbrush portion of the swing. And it's a very slight pause um, at the very least. At the most, you're definitely not getting the full kinetic chain. So here, for example, your, sw your, your swing kind of starts to accelerate from about here. So where it should, start with your elbow pointed back. So for example, there's, there's pro players and any good servers that pause, but they pause in more in this position. And then they would just swing from there. Granted, your grip needs to, you need to work on your grip and getting your palm more down. But for purposes of what we're working on today, which is pure racket acceleration and pace, yeah, you need to accelerate from here. And you'll see if I press play, it's not just gonna go from there. It's gonna kind of go and stop and go again kind of hard to spot. See here from the other angle. Yeah, so from here I feel like you really started to accelerate from about this position. So again, this elbow should be pointed back at the back wall. Again, work on that grip, get that palm down, but let's focus on getting more pace on your serve to start. Um, this one you never really get your elbow even from the start in the position to hit really hard. Remember, power works from the butt, from the ground up. Feet to knees, knees to hip, hip to shoulder, shoulder to elbow, elbow to wrist, and then the hand finally comes through. And it needs to be this constant uncoiling um, all together to really generate power. And that's, in my opinion, your primary flaw right now, Heather. So regular speed. Okay. So I'd say right about here is where you come from. So you're already pushed up on your toe. You gotta hold back longer, get the elbow back, make it all connect a little better. I'll explain a little better what I mean on court, Heather. Okay, so we'll just come over here for a second. Stand right here. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's just do this. Let's just get racket head speed. Put your rack stand like you're gonna serve. Okay, and let's bring your racket over your head like this and just swing fast. There you go. So right there, what you just did there is a very, very hard serve. It's an 80 mile an hour serve. Mm. Now we know you can do it, 
<laughs> I, I've seen you work on that throwing motion and work on getting that racket acceleration, but a couple more times, just get that feeling. Okay, let's hear that. There you go. Start slow, and then right about here as it drops, just, yeah, you know, so we know you can hit a hard serve because you can swing your racket that fast. All right, so I just want you to get the feeling for hitting that hard a couple times. So we're gonna take the toss out of it. And your only concern is just how hard can you hit that thing off that rope, okay? So go slow. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> wouldn't that be nice yeah. to be able to have a serve like that? Well, you can. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. You can, <laughs> we, you just did it. Theoretically, we know you can hit a ball that hard. Good. All right, so now, how are we gonna get you to do this <laughs> with your toss involved, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> I say, again, not being outcome oriented is gonna help. Not worrying if it goes in or out is gonna help. Mm -hmm. But I say, start back where you know your racket's just gonna continually accelerate. So start kind of back in this area. And no, from here, nothing's slowing down. Oh, that'd be great, I like that grip much better. From here, it's just going, right? Let me hear it. There you go, good. All right, so maybe, if you just leave your racket here and, and toss first, because right now you have a tendency your, your racket gets in front of your toss. That's one reason you have to wait. Mm -hmm. So try to, what if you don't give yourself time to wait? What if you stay here and the first thing you do is just toss the ball? And then you're forced to have to get that racket to come around to hit it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take a step forward here. And just remember, right now our goal, what we're working on is not hitting the serve in, it's not the motion, it's just how hard can you strike this ball, okay? And you know how to do it. All right, so start down here and toss first. And you might mess up a couple, but let's just see how hard you can hit that ball. See? Right, yeah, yeah, that's it. Now just hold that racket back and then just toss first. And good, nice, good. Good. All right, so now how are we gonna get you to do this <laughs> with your toss involved, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> I say, again, not being outcome oriented is gonna help. Not worrying if it goes in or out is gonna help. Mm -hmm. But I say, start back where you know your racket's just gonna continually accelerate. So start kind of back in this area. And no, from here, nothing's slowing down. Oh, that'd be great, I like that grip much better. From here, it's just going, right? Let me hear it. There you go, good. All right, so maybe, if you just leave your racket here and, and toss first, because right now you have a tendency your, your racket gets in front of your toss. That's one reason you have to wait. Mm -hmm. So try to, what if you don't give yourself time to wait? What if you stay here and the first thing you do is just toss the ball? And then you're forced to have to get that racket to come around to hit it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take a step forward here. And just remember, right now our goal, what we're working on is not hitting the serve in, it's not the motion, it's just how hard can you strike this ball, okay? And you know how to do it. All right, so start down here and toss first, and you might mess up a couple, but let's just see how hard you can hit that ball. See? Right, yeah, yeah, that's it. Now just hold that racket back and then just toss first and good, nice, good. And in between each one, I want you to do that racket swoosh, and I want you to feel that, that kinetic chain over your head. Nice. Go slow. Hold. Yes. That was it. it? Yeah, that was better. Start slow, toss low. Go. Nice. Whoa. That was a pretty big one, right? Yeah, so this is what we would call your primary flaw, okay? So when you come out here and hit serves on your own, if you're thinking of anything else other than this, you're not working on your primary flaw. The one motion. The one motion, that's it. Yeah, your toss needs a little bit of work. Maybe there's some pronating, but there's always like one core thing that people need to work on. Yeah. For you, it's acceleration, okay? Because we know, and you're gonna see in your analysis, your elbow stops here. Mm. And it's just biomechanics. You can't get power. <clears throat> Me sitting here, so you watch, watch the difference. I'm gonna hit from here, I'm gonna hit as hard as I can. <clears throat> Now if I do this, and I hit as hard as I can. So you see, this, this elbow is so vital when this elbow, in fact, when we look at high level servers and hard servers, it's the number one uh, 
a factor impacting how hard they hit. If it goes up too much, they can't hit too hard. If it doesn't travel enough at all, they can't hit too hard. So the hardest servers, you see this elbow travel the furthest. It starts all the way back and it gets all the way forward. So when you have a pause, you lose all that, okay? So this is it for you, okay? When you come out and hit serves on your own, until you have this down, then we can move on to a secondary flaw. Mm -hmm. Okay, but for right now, this is all you need to be thinking about. Toss that ball low and then keep that racket moving over your head, okay? Go slow, hold, yes! That was it. <laughs> it? Yeah, that was better. Nice.